y is inversely proportional to x. When x equals 5, y equals 6. That's the information part. Now here's the question part. Work out the value of y when x equals 10. Step 1. y is inversely proportional to x. So when you see that, you've got to write this down. y is inversely proportional to x. Then convert that to this with an equal symbol. But when you do that, you need to introduce the k. It's called the constant of proportionality, which we're going to work out in a moment. So that's step one. So that becomes that. Where do these six and five come from? It's right here. X equals five, y equals six. X equals five, y equals six. Something divided by five to get a six. 30. 30 divided by 5 gives me 6. So k is 30. We've just found the value of k. So the formula now, follow me, the formula now is y equals 30 over x. Where did the 30 come from? I just worked it out. So that's the formula I'm going to use to answer this question, this part here. Work out the value of y when x is 10. When x is 10. So replace the 10 in here, 30 divided by 10 is 3, that's the answer. M is directly, it's not inversely, directly proportional to R squared. Here's the information, when R is equal to 3, M is equal to 18. The question, work at the value of M when R equals 4. So step 1, M is directly proportional to R squared. Now you've got to introduce the k and the equal symbol. m is equal to k r squared. The k comes in front, not above it, not above the r squared, because then it, that would make it inversely proportional. So it needs to come in front of it. That makes it directly proportional. So that's step one. We need to find the value of k. How? Using the information. Replace the m with 18, replace the r with three. So you got three squared there. Three squared is nine. Nine times something to be 18. Two. We've just worked out the value of k. That's two. So follow me. The formula is equal to m equals two. K is two because we just worked it out. R squared. That's the formula that we're going to use to answer this question. That's two, that's a times, that's a times there. Replace the R with four. Here, four squared is 16, 16 times two is 32. Part two, work at the value of R when M is equal to 50. We're gonna use the formula there. M is 50. That's the formula. We're trying to work out R, the value of R. 2 times R squared to give me 50. We need to get rid of the times by 2 by dividing by 2. What have we done on this side? Do on the other side. 50 divided by 2 is 25. And then the 2's cancel. So you're just left with R squared. Just left with R squared. Something squared to give me 25. It's 5 squared that gives you 25. R is equal to 5. There's the answer y is inversely proportional to square of x. Right, before I carry on reading this, here it is, look. y is inversely proportional to square of x. And that's the equal symbol with the k introduced. k goes on top because it's inversely. Right, here's a table of values of x and y's. Express y in terms of x. It's just asking for the formula. That's what it is. We've understood this part. We need to work at the value of k. Pick any values, any pair of values from here. I'll pick the easiest one. That one looks easy enough. I don't want to pick the fractions. I don't like, I don't like working with the fractions here. So I'll just use these two values. x equals 1, y equals 4. x equals 1, y is equal to 4. There. 
Replace the x with 1, replace the y with 4. Something divided by 1 squared. Well, 1 squared is just 1. Remember, 1 squared is just 1. So something divided by 1 to give you 4. Obviously, it's 4. k is equal to 4. Follow me. The formula is y equals 4, because I've just worked it out, over x squared. That's the formula. Express y in terms of x. Here's y in terms of x. There's the formula. Work at the value of x when y is equal to 36. Replace y with 36 and work at the value of x. So you need to solve this equation. Now because the x is in the denominator, I don't like that. I prefer the x to be by itself on the numerator but not in the denominator. So what I need to do to get rid of this divide by x squared, I need to do the inverse operation times by x squared. What have you done on this side? Do on the other side. That will be 36 times x squared. There it is. x squared knocks out x squared, so you're just left with 4. Now I want x on its own over here, so get rid of the times by 36. By dividing by 36, what have you done on this side? Do on the other side. So 36 and 36, they knock each other out. You're left with x squared, and that will be 4 over 36 which simplifies to 1 over 9. Just simplify, you know, divide by 4, divide by 4. Here, yeah, I've run out of space. Over here, x squared is equal to 1 over 9. To get rid of the square ring, you need to square root. Opposite of square ring is square root. What have you done on this side? Do on the other side. So square root of x squared leaves you just with x. Remember, this square root knocks out this. So you're just left with x. Square root of 1 is 1. Square root of 9 is 3. 